Something about the way the man strode through the crowded mezzanine caught Isla Peterson's attention. She had just sold another box of bake sale treats to a customer when the shape of him caught her eye, and for a moment she panicked. But when she swallowed back that fear and took a good look, she knew it wasn't her former husband she had spotted in Toronto's oldest market. Adam Kincaid was taller than her ex and broader too. Brawny now, in a way he hadn't been four years earlier when she saw him last, at an airbase a few hours away, both of them having just returned from Afghanistan. A lifetime ago. She blinked, ready for him to disappear, be replaced by someone who just looked like him, shared the same thick golden brown hair and square jaw, who walked with a cocky confidence she knew he didn't always feel. But even after shaking her head, he was still there and getting closer. His eyes twinkled as he took in the sight of her, and she knew he was having the same moment of, hey, I recognize you, but wow, you've changed, disconnect. Except in her case, that change wasn't so clearly for the better. How much are the cookies? He asked, pointing to a sign that clearly said 25 cents each. She'd missed his gentle teasing, the way he followed a question with a smile that warmed his eyes. No way, they're only a quarter. Laughing, she rounded the table and launched herself into his embrace. He squeezed her back. Master Corporal King Cade, she whispered as she stepped back and bounced. Captain Peterson, he echoed, setting his hands on her shoulders and holding her still so he could get another good look at her. Look at you. It's just Isla now, she swallowed hard. I got out. He grinned. Me too. I bet that's no surprise to you. She let out a relieved breath, and he laughed with her. I guess it's been a while. 